How you doing folks? I'm here this evening, this morning, it's Sunday. Um, I thought I'd get a special dispensation from the Shanahan brothers here in Barna, County Limerick. They're having an auction. Um, big silage contractors, three, three and a half thousand acres of silage. They have a quarry as well. Some of you might know the quarry is halfway between Abbey Field and um, Newcastle West, above the hill on the side of the road. Um, this is all their gear behind us. We're going to prop the drone and um, we'll give a, a walk around the place and um, we'll see what they have. Period. Well, great. Here's a video. Alright, guys, here we are. We have a, a selection of silage trailers here and dump trailers. It's a nice dump trailer. I don't know how to make it. As I say, she's a 14 ton. Um, we have an Abbey 2250. Lovely tank. She's got the, the dribble bar in the back as well. A nice clean tank actually. We have a high spec, a 2000 gallon high spec. And um, we have another dribble bar in the back of that. Chieftain, she 14 or 16 foot. Um, Herdens. That's a nice heron actually. She's got the she's got the flotation tires. Red Rock, what a trailer. I love Red Rocks. Red Rocks are a bulletproof trailer. We have a selection of Red Rocks here. There's one, two, three of them. And I presume this is another heron. She's painted kind of a different colour. She's more of a pinky colour. Yeah, she's a heron as well. All the herons, as far as I know, are 17 foot. The Red Rocks are 18 foot. A JPM trailer. Who's JPM? I don't know, JPM, all nice trailers again. These are all straight trailers. I actually give a walk around them there while I go. Um, they're all very, very straight trailers. And where we are here in County Limerick, there is, we're a long way from the sea, so there is no salt. No salt, nothing like that. So we have another heap of herons. That's a very, very fresh heron, actually. More herons. She's. I don't know if they're steering axles or not, or some of them are, I don't think they are. Yeah. I would love one of these. This is my thing. I'd love, what I would love is a Harry West. It's a side, just side splitter. I'd love, that's what I'd love. One of them, but in a Harry West. We all love a heap of stuff. High spec rear discharge again, XCEL 1250, and with the silage bike. I don't know who it's by. Nice and silage bike. Extensions put on to the the whole lot. It's oh, it's an OEC silage bike actually. That's a nice. A nice fresh looking pike for someone. Do you know, it's a shame that the Shanahans are getting out of business because they're they're in the go they're on the go over fifty years. Now I think there's another generation going taking over. But they're on the go with over fifty years. And I know there is some contractor out there. We'll give a look at the tractors now next to find John Deere with a set of butterflies and I know there is some some contractor out there this minute and he's licking his lips that these boys were cutting three and a half thousand acres of silage and there's three and a half thousand acres of silage now up for grabs but it's not that it's to me it's the fact that the farmer right this is my opinion on it the farmer now is that these boys were looking after and there is probably certain farmers that the Shanahans were looking after with the last, whatever, 30, 40, 50 years even. And they're, they're actually going to have to go down the line of getting a new contractor and getting someone new to do the work and do the pit silage and do all this kind of stuff for them. And you know what? It's actually a shame that they're gone and it's a farmer that's losing out. We have two 8450 8, Valtras. I love that type of Valtra, they are an absolute, I drove one of them um, in good tyres actually in both of them, there's a small bit down that one, but not bad at all. I drove one of them for a fella in 02 or 03, which was actually brand new at the time, that's a savage John Deere. S -S -A -M -A -S -S -A -S. 
moors. These were moors are clean. They must be two thousand. They must be twenty twenty two moors. They have very little done. The paint has hardly gone off the bed in them. Let's swing around here and look at the moor vultures. More vultures, lads, Connors and scattered Lane Connors and Knocknagoshan. Another vulture. All the, is the, all these tractors are very clean. Clay case Puma 165. Fint 720. Another vulture. And the Kamatsu Lord and Shovel. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, what is she? Is she a 420? Or is she a 320? We'll give a look at it on a minute. Three twenty. Now we have the, the class Jaguar nine hundred. The three hundred pickup. That is lovely. That was actually very good tires in the front of it. She's a very genuine machine again. Very very genuine machine. And the header is very straightness. There's no scratches or no nothing. You usually see here like. They'd be all dinged up and banged up and everything, but no. Oh, she's four-wheel drive as well. Even the panels are straightened, and we have the box there for the additive. And then, coming around here, we have a slurry cat. Slurry cat with a pump. I don't know, she, she looks maybe 2000. Very straight again, very, very straight. I was actually looking at these two moors while ago. It was the, probably the best John Deere moor that was ever built is this one. The John Deere 1365. They are just a beautiful moor. They are just, they were just, they were a brilliant moor. Brilliant, brilliant altogether. And like that, she's on the, the linkages again. And this is the slightly newer type. I don't know what model she is, but she's the same, more or less the same thing, but it has. You know, she's a different group, or she's a different drawbar, she's pulled there from the middle. They're, they're grand, lovely little moor again. Not too sure of the years now or anything of them. But they're a nice tidy moor. Tires are well down the inside, and she's the 530. PTOs and all there for them. And we have we call it a crumbler roller right? that's there that's number 66 now come back here we have a teller this is a big ball of a rake lad a fine rake altogether is she a coon? she is number 16 a coon rake and we have a class Volta 800 tether number 27. We have a set of discs number 14, an Amazon set of discs 14. We have another kind of a, a cultivator number 10. Oh, we have a stitcher. Oh my god, a stitcher. For those of you who don't know what a stitcher is, it just that's what it does, it stitches in the, in the seed. A lovely looking machine again, absolutely lovely looking machine. And we have the the Fleming. Um, is she? So she's thirteen or fourteen foot land leveler. We have two seed boxes. They'd be for the the vintage men if they wanted them, but they'd be I. They still work. They still do the job. Absolutely perfect. We have two grass tine harrows here. Two grass harrows with um, crumbler rollers, and we have a fold out triple K, and we have a Pottinger rake. That's a fine ball of a rake, lad. That is a fine rake. Pottinger rake, and we have. The Celtic, the Celtic Bale Chaser. I actually made a video last year of, it was last year or the year before, 
of the Celtic Bale trailer. I would actually admit and say to anyone, these are a serious weapon of a yoke to, to move bales. You can load two on one side or three, and you can load two on the other side or three, whatever way you want to do it. And um, 10 bales all together and drop them in the yard. We were drawing bales actually in a place and there was two two fusions drawn and two Celtics and we were doing four loads in an hour. Now it was a short a short draw but the man in the yard could not keep the two um the two trailers the two trailers free. We shoot around here we've two over and plows they bought four for our reversibles and I see there the boards are well, well greased in them. There's coulters, there's, there's discs, there's everything following them. And we have a Coon power harrow with a seed box in the back of it. And we have a grass tine harrow. So that's kind of it, guys. We're gonna give a quick walk over again now and we look at the, we give one walk across the back of the tractors and uh, we go from there. Yeah, the gear was very good and everything was stored inside. We walk up along here with the Valtras 141 08. Gia Case Puma 165 Fint Dura Valtra across the yard here and we look at these ducks more Valtras a lovely load of tractor there for someone fine white tyres and fine lovely tractor oh, I was inside actually inside that tractor there they're absolutely spotless. They're very, very well minded. They're very well minded tractors. T7, 210, in New Holland. Brand new tyres in it. Front linkage, the whole lot. So, guys. That's kind of it. We'll swing around here and look at the trailers again. And we have a bit of drone footage there, the whole lot. And we mix it in. Like I said, if you can, give a like and give a subscribe to what we're doing. And if you can, hit the like button. Because the more likes we have, the more YouTube are going to recommend my videos. If you like it, YouTube will recommend it. So give a like, give a subscribe. and. We have a couple of things to give away at the moment and we'll be giving them away. I'm in a, a bit of a negotiation at the minute with a, with a clothing company and it's going to be a new brand and they're going to be giving me a bit of stuff to give away. So if you want to find out more about that and find out exactly what's going on and everything, like I can say give a like, give a subscribe and um, I wish the best to look as always to the Shanahans and in their future endeavours. And like I said, it's sorry to see him going because it is it's the farmer that's losing out. It's it is the farmer. And what's happening in New Zealand and America at the moment is you actually have to ring the farmer. You have to ring the contractor and you have to book your your slot. That's what you have to do in New Zealand and America. You have to book your slot at the moment. And when you book your slot, they will tell you what date they're going to come to you. That's the way it's working in New Zealand and America. And um, I think that's the way it's going to be here. There's three fairly sizable contractors gone out of business in the last three months in Limerick County alone. Now, if you want to go on and you want to bid on anything you see here, the auction is actually next Wednesday, the... Today, the 19th, so the auction is the 20, 21, 21, 20, 21, 20, the 23rd. The auction is the 23rd of, of February, and it'll be on the Michael Dial Auctioneers is the man, so he's on Facebook. So give a look at Michael Dial Auctioneers, and um, that's the auction. Even go through his Facebook page, 
it's actually frightening the amount of stuff that um that's the amount of contractors that have folded up in the last couple of months and fair play to michael dial he's made a he's made a very good business out of it but um yeah that's kind of it like i said give a like give a subscribe thanks again to the shanahans and um i wish them all the the very very best in their future endeavors all right guys thanks very much bye now Period. Well, great. Here's a video.